Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel today. I am going to be showing you guys some more plushies that I made recently. You guys love these videos. These are my most popular videos on TikTok, so I figured I would do another YouTube video showing you guys what I made over the last two weeks. I am in full-blown market prep right now. We do five days worth of market in November, so it's definitely a really crazy month. All of October I have been prepping and everything that I have ready right now is about two weeks worth. I did take a lot of time off, many days off, to save my hands. Technically I had about, I'd say almost a month to prepare for this market this weekend, but I didn't crochet every single day because I really <laughs> just need to give my hands a bit of a break sometimes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get right into it and show you guys all of the stuff because there's a lot that I crocheted in two weeks. So <laughs> I have been working on a lot of leggy froggies and restocking, oh God, they're falling. This is 28 leggy froggies. So I have a lot. I definitely don't think this is enough for two days because this market is Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> But um, I also have Saturday night to make a few things and these are pretty quick for me so I can always do a few more. But yeah, I have a lot of these ready. I have a couple chicken nuggets. My mom is making chicken nuggets this time because we do the markets together. You guys know my mom is a part of my business and she has tons ready so I literally just have a couple. And she also is the one that does all the sock monkeys. I only have one, but she has like a garbage bag full. So I'm not worried about that, but I made one. <laughs> I made one little mini egg. I already have a couple eggs left over from the last market we did. So like the larger ones, but I just kind of freehanded this one because I wanted to make one that was really small. And I think it turned out really cute. I also have a bunch of jumbo leggy froggies done. This one here has already had enough. He's like, let me go. But I have, I didn't even count these yet, honestly. Maybe I should. I have 12 of these ready to go. They look so cute. I love them. They look really cute on the camera. Um, I sold out of these last time, so I made a little bit more this time and we'll see how they go. I have all different colors. Oh, that one just fell. And yeah literally leggy froggies for days and then in that box i have one little octopus i have a bunch of these done the rest are in the other box so i will show you guys the other ones and i have to count them so i'll just put this one aside for right now next i have this adorable little moose i'm obsessed with him i might actually make a little scarf for him tonight like a little blue one maybe or maybe yellow i don't know he's so cute i love how this one turned out i'm definitely gonna make another one I have an adorable little kitty cat. These are some felt eyes that I made for the cat and the nose. The noses are available on my Etsy right now. I think I'm pretty low on stock for felt eyes. I just did a, ha a Halloween, not a Halloween drop. I did a Christmas drop and they all sold out. So I will be doing another drop soon and with some more like basics like this, but this little cat turned out so adorable. It kind of reminds me of Marie from the Aristocats. Fun fact, I actually have a Marie tattoo on my leg. I have a little gingerbread. I made these guys last year, this exact pattern, and they sold really, really well. So I only have one done so far this year. I'm having a hard time getting more pieces like this ready for markets because I'm also getting orders for them. So I can only do so much and they are like pretty time consuming, more so than I remember, but He's really cute. I definitely wanted to have a few festive items for this market because obviously it is a Christmas market. So I'm sure he's gonna sell right away. I just finished this piece yesterday. How cute is this? This is one of my favorite pieces that I've ever made. My boyfriend loves this one as well. It's so cute. It's a little kangaroo with the little baby that comes out. I'm really tempted to keep this one. He took me two days to make. And when I say two days, I obviously don't mean like two full days, but he was just too much work for one day. So I had to put it down and then pick it up again the next day. And I finished it yesterday and it turned out so good. So this is definitely going to be one of my higher priced items at my market because of how tedious it was to make. And it used a ton of yarn, but 
I think he's adorable and I think he would make a really really cute Christmas gift so we'll see if he doesn't sell at the market then I'll just put him on Etsy anyways or her I should be saying I also made this adorable deer I love this this is from the same pattern as the gingerbread so like they go together and I made these felt eyes yesterday they're part they were part of my um, holiday drop but these are a different color so I will be dropping some new colors like these ones and they're like they're almost like holographic they're kind of cool and he's adorable I love his little scarf his little sparkly scarf I'm sure this one will sell really quickly as well I only have one deer right now but I would like to make at least one more for our other markets so cute I have one little turtle this time I am going to try and make one more tonight because I'd like to do like a little pink or a purple one but he's so cute this is my own pattern Twinkie the turtle so you can buy this pattern by clicking the link in my description it is for sale on my Etsy these turtles are definitely one of my top sellers and a lot of my customers will give me feedback saying that their turtles sell really well at their markets as well but I've never had a turtle at a market that didn't sell so I like to have at least a couple per show so like I said I am gonna try and make one more tonight hopefully I have so much to do but we'll see how that goes because I'm also planning on going live on TikTok this evening to like tag all of my plushies and stuff I haven't been live on TikTok in a little bit so yeah little turtle I have one jumbo jellyfish this one's pretty cute this is what I do like when I have scrap yarn I just make a bunch of tentacles my mom has a bunch of jellyfish ready this for this market and there's just no need for me to make like a million of them when she literally has a whole box full so I just have one to contribute to this market I have this adorable little bear how cute is this I don't even think I've taken a photo of this one yet normally I take pictures of all my plushies and like post them to Instagram but yeah that's what I need to do after this video is take a photo because he's so adorable I love his little blue sweater I'm sure this guy will sell he would make a really cute Christmas gift I have another one of these little birds I had a blue one at the last market and that one did sell so I wanted to do a different variation of the blue bird and he turned out adorable I love him look at his cute little eyes I love making these and I love how many color options there are so hopefully this guy sells I feel like he would make a really cute and unique present as well I have one axolotl I actually forgot that I made this this was in the bottom of that box um, I normally do one or two per show and they always sell this is the only one that I have done this time I'll try and get a couple more done before the next market at the end of November but for now one little blue axolotl I forgot I had these two I have these two really cute like I don't even know what you call this they're really really fuzzy so I don't know if you guys can tell but this is super fluffy almost like velvety chenille yarn and I didn't know what to do with it I just had one ball so I was like you know what I'm just gonna make a couple leggy froggies and they turned out so cute I love them I hope they sell I'm sure they will because they are like so so soft I have one big jellyfish I have uh, one left from the last market I believe because I had three and two of them sold so I wanted to make one more just so that I have one that's like a mint blue color and one that's a pink one and yeah I love this guy it turned out so good this is one of my favorite patterns I just love all the tentacles and I love how you can do so many different color variations of these and yeah what a cute gift idea right Okay, now I'm on to all of the octopus. I have so many of these, so let's just go ahead and count how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I have 14 of these ready. That is actually a lot. I didn't realize I had that many, but I've been trying to use up this thicker yarn that I have, so I just went crazy making these over the last week or two and I think they're really cute I think they're like you know a good size and they don't take me too long to make I ran out of eyes so I stopped making them but I am going to include some of this style eye in my next felt eye drop so I'm gonna make some more in some different colors and yeah they're one of my favorite eyes to use on plushies because I feel like they just go with everything but yeah these are adorable I'm really happy with how they turned out and yeah I think that's it for what I have ready for this market this is how much I crocheted in the last couple weeks I do still have another 
full bin and a half of plushies that were left over from my previous market. I also have a bunch of hats and ornaments and some different things as well, which I didn't include in this video because this is just plushies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for always leaving your video suggestions down below. I do see them as well as on TikTok. You guys are always hounding me for new content and I do really appreciate it. It makes me feel really good knowing that people actually want to see content from me. If you guys are in St. John's or Newfoundland and you wanna check us out at markets, all of our market information is always posted to Instagram to either our stories or our highlights. So you can always check out the details there and you can stop by and grab an adorable little plushie. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out all of my social media links down below as well as my Etsy shop if you're interested in buying a plushie or felt eyes. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Live a life every day, let it die, not okay, all I want. And I pray, all I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by and everything See you in the next life, have to be a better